Hello, Radiant Soul Lights. Ooh, the energy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if it's the Jupiter in Pisces conjuncting Neptune in Pisces for a little bit. Shadow. Pre-Mercury retrograde shadow, right? Um, yowzy, yowzy, yowzy. Uh, anyway, welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Michelle. And those of you that have been traveling with me for a while, thanks for being here. Thanks for your support, your kind words, your comments, um, your sharings, um, donations. Thank you for connecting and thank you for just being you and showing up so sparkly. Woo! So um, I'm just out of my tarot and numerology course. It started today. It's amazing. So I'm very dialed in, tuned in, spaced out, spaced in, whatever. Um, and I wanted to jump on and get the um, energy for the week. Now, if you watched my weekend forecast, boy, is that so accurate. Um, I had no idea. You know, when I do the readings, it's like I'm of course I might be in them. I can't, e I can't even believe how um, accurate the reading was for what was going on. Pixelated glitches. Um, what, one of the things that I'm getting is there is a lot of contrasting energy right now. So you might see a lot of contrast. Sometimes that contrast can show up as conflict. So we're getting shown the contrast but there's also a lot of very Uranian energy. There's a lot of unpredictability right now. There's a lot that's seem to be stagnant that's now picking up. So you're feeling this kind of energy picking up, but yet there are, it's fits and stops. It starts and stops, starts and stops, gets on a roll. Or some of you may feel that things have been stagnant or very quiet, and now it starts picking up. So this is really teaching us on a soul level to go with the flow. You know, you're align your individual flow to the actual flow that is going on in your life. I do feel that there's going to be a lot this week. I keep getting conflict and contrast. And that could be within yourself. That could be within other people. I feel like there's something that's going to be happening where... People are watching the news again, social media, things are up in arms, thing, there's a disruption. A um, friend of mine who lives um, in the mountains where I normally stay, there's been an arsonist. So um, <clears throat> we were actually going to get together and then she called and said, you know, there's a you know, fire. So... Um, and I have a lot of friends that live up there. I stay up there quite a bit. So that's just, that kind of thing is what I'm talking about. It's kind of this out of the blue. But here's the deal. It may tax you. You may feel stretched this week. So you're going to have to take your own time to go within, to reset. Focus more on yourself. Focus on your loved ones, friends, family. Focus on what you love to do, even if you can't do what you want to do completely, you know, as much as you want to, find ways to connect in, okay? Um, I'm using the Thoth deck um, today. Uh, oh, Ace of Swords on the bottom. Here's my old Thoth deck. It's very old, 25 years old, 25, 30 years old. So, yeah, <laughs> so I had to get a new one. All right, let's dive in. Let's just get a little, we're going to look at soul story number one, number two, number three. And I'm actually going to be tuning into the energy of the crystals and the cards. So see which one you're drawn to. You may want to pause the video. The overall energy that I'm getting here is the Prince of Dis, or Princess of Dis truce or going within interference three of swords eight of pentacles and prince of wands as well as the wheel of fortune 
Okay, so this is the collective energy. Then we're going to look at the cards and the crystals to see how it's affecting you individually. Now, this is, you can see already by this, the energy of the collective, it's a very mixed bag. You may feel, you may feel held back. You may feel restricted. You may be being reminded of past wounds or wounding. You may have some sorrow. You may be some of you are looking at relationships that aren't working or there could be surprises in relationships negative and positive you know unpleasant and pleasant um the wheel of our life the wheel of the universe the wheel of the earth the wheel of the world and our individual wheel is wanting to move is wanting to change to go closer into this energy of the new paradigm to connect more with the consciousness of the mer new emerging paradigm, which means it's trying to get more into this Aquarian energy. We're moving slowly out of Earth because we still have Pluto and Capricorn. We have Uranus and Taurus, but that Uranus and Taurus, we're looking astrologically, that Taurian energy of the Earth, all things 3D, um, is being influenced by Uranus, the lightning bolt, the energy of Aquarius, the energy of, you know, quick thinking, mindset, flashes of insight, intuition, innovation, invention. So we're trying to move more into the mental realm, which is also the realm of the ethers, right? To connect into the subtle energy. Subtle energy is so important right now. This is why I always tune into the Akashic. I look not just at the denser physical reality, but also through the aura, the subtle energy of the aura, the etheric plane, the astral plane, the Akashic. So there could be things that you have to say, I just have to have a truce on this. We have to just agree to disagree. There is new birth coming up. Princess of Dis, something new is coming up. Eight of Pentacles, but it's taking work working on yourself, working with others, um, apprenticing, working on a project. So there is this creative mindset, I feel, for many of you that is coming through. Prince of Wands or King of Wands moving forward in your life, connecting with the fire element of creativity, of movement. But this has to be handled before the wheel turns, okay? So this eight of swords, you wanna look maybe for the restriction or constriction is within yourself, is it within a circumstance, is it within a situation? Or if you're still restricted, what can you do to lighten up, to lighten the load, to begin to allow the wheel to turn for you, okay? Gain, nine of pentacles. So this has to do with opening up to yourself as a resource and an abundance, right? Virgo card here. Um, looking at more this week what's working for you and focus less on what's not working for you. Spirit, your guides, the higher self, the very universe, the thrust is through the pain, the limitation, the loss into newness. So... If you're tuning into this reading, you're connecting into, or your guides want you to connect into the newness of things, the new path, the new direction, the new beginnings. You're being pushed or pulled or inspired to move forward, okay? Okay, and I just had a flash. I forgot. I've got a workshop coming up this weekend, um, Saturday, May 22nd. You want to find, it's about developing more psychic your know, psychic ability and opening to channel that's something that you find interesting or want to know more about you can go to soulplayground.life and go to the classes and workshops section okay so let's look at this so we've got soul story number one number two number three. First of all i'm getting with the soul story number one that something is about to open for you you've got the citrine here And I'm getting a lot with openings. I'm getting birth. I'm getting gestation. I'm getting connecting more to the receptive aspect of your being. 
I am being that some of you are living near water or want to or need to. Some of you need to drink more water. I'm getting lakes, um, maybe listen to water, be around water, be like water flow. But this is a time for you to open up, okay? There's something that's been blocking you or you haven't quite been seeing. Okay, there's something that you haven't quite been seeing in your life. And I feel that this week, you will see it. You will have that clarity or deeper understanding as to what you're meant to do. Some of you, this could be something that you're launching or putting out there in the world, or somehow you're stepping more forward into the world is what I, I'm getting this forward, or you're moving upwards. Um, could be birth of an idea a plan is coming into motion is what I'm hearing so let's see what you have here I am made of the stars oh okay so these are the sigil cards signal cards so you're made of the stars well that's kind of what fits in and then you've got death a time of natural transition and transformation. There it is. So some of you may be looking and seeing, wow, I am more, um, I am more than what I thought I was, or I am gifted, or my, it's about taking your gifts more into the world and opening up. But it's coming out of this deep transition, transformation. I feel this week you're going to see more about the transformation. What is it? How has your energy changed? How has your energy transmuted that you're now opening up more to more abundance? Let's look at the tarot for you specifically. Um, I'm hearing Herkimer, Herkimer Diamond. Um, you may want to work if you have diamonds, wear them, or you may want to get quartz. I know this is um, citrine here, but I feel like carnelian keeps coming to me. There's something about strength yet softness, but I'm also hearing about working with attraction. And um, diamonds um, or quartz are attractors. They attract. So you might want to work with quartz crystal or rare quartz or diamonds um, if you have. So let's see, what are the messages for soul story number one for the week? Yeah, nothing being apprentice. Something about printing, getting something printed up. Some of you could be doing silk screen is what I'm hearing. Okay, worry. Okay, that's what you're coming out of. Oh, fertility. Yeah, see, you have to shake something off here. Indolence, Eight of Cups. And what's the message from Spirit? Keep on keeping on. So you are, some of you may feel like you're in a dark night of a soul. So you're really going through some deeper healing. And what's coming out of it is you're going to be a recognition of your gifts, of just how far you've come. But you do have to have that valor, that courage, Seven of Wands to get through what you're getting through. Or some of you are coming out on the other side of it. Now notice that there is uh, wings here, butterflies, death. So it could be people around you have crossed over or for many of you, I feel like this is just a lot of transition, transmutation of energy to change. You're in a death rebirth cycle. So there could have been a lot of loss. And there we are, queen of wands. So you're coming back. So story number one, you're coming back. So it's very interesting that what the message from spirit, the guidance is about courage, standing up for yourself, your convictions. In other words, this is the courage to carry on, to follow up, to follow through. And how, this, so this is the realm of spirit and the realm of material, how it's gonna affect you on the earth plane or materially. Um, the queen of wands is the card of transformation a deep transformation. Um, through the tarot lore, it is said that the Queen of Wands at one point had blonde hair, but went th through so much change, so much transformation, that her hair turned red, okay? And red again, red, orange for fire, passion, receiving more of spirits, insight and information, receiving more of spirits, energy and direction. 
So you are coming out of this. You are coming out, I feel very changed. And you're coming out with more understanding, wisdom, and compassion for yourself and for others. Um, this could be Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But it's also, it's, it's, it's reigning over, like a, a queen, king, reigning over denser, lower emotional states. Things that have happened in the past that have held you back. So there is going to be some kind of turning point. You're going to feel some part of your life perhaps is stagnant or needs more attention and be moving on from something. Okay, so this transition is bringing some kind of level of movement for you. Now you see here with the crown, so it is the recognition that it's spirit. It's the spiritual energy that's moving you. The inspiration is allowing you now to move to inspired action. I do feel for many of you, this is about deeper healing. This has been about a dark night of the soul. This is about testing, being really tested, feeling held back, but you've persevered. And as you're persevering, you're now seeing the changes. You're seeing the changes that are taking place for you. Let's get the chocolate card for you. So you still may not be totally out of the woods is what I'm hearing. There's still be more that you're going through, but you're going to start turning the corner is what I'm hearing. Let's look at the chakras. Oh, visualization and life purpose. So that's your focus. A lot to do with wanting to live more of your life's purpose or what is your life's purpose. You want more meaning and you're visualizing. You're using your powers of intention and creativity to create more of what it is that you want. Some of you, this is in job, career, some of you relationships, some of you, this is lifestyle, some of you, this is health. You're asking about health. That means it's picking up. And we'll get a Beyond Lemuria card. And you've got a 22 here on the card, Life Purpose. So it's rebuilding. There's something that you're rebuilding, Soul Story number one. And you're using your powers of intent and visualization, 2810, which is new direction, new beginnings. Okay. So it has to do also with you focusing more on your, oh, look at this one, to come out, two of them. The infinite, well, that's connecting to source, and also third eye, third eye chakra, visualization. So I would say this week, it's time for you to perhaps connect more through visualizing through that third eye chakra, the sixth chakra there. Power of envisioning what it is that you really want to do. Let's see if this, you get an area that's being activated. Let's see here. Whoa, too many. These cards, I love these cards, but some of them, this card, Beyond Lemuria and these uh, astrology planetary they're thicker okay Gemini I think so this is a perfect time for you to plan to focus to think but not worry thoughts not worry thoughts that are going round and round thoughts of creating cre creation look how far I've come this is what I want now this is what I want to focus on use your powers of imagination of visualization use the thinking mind the higher mind of the of your thinking to draw in and create more of what I want. So your soul insights mantra for the week is, as I think, I create, I believe, I experience. As I think, I create, I believe, I experience. As I think, I create, I believe, and I experience. Some of you may wanna read that book, Try It and True, Think and Grow Rich. Um, it's not, it's kind of salesy, but it's not, it's more about connecting into the power of your thoughts and in some level, the power of positive thinking. Not that we don't want to have down days. I get depressed. I have down days, but you don't want that to be your um, default, your set point. You want to be able to integrate the positivity because you have done a lot, Soul Story, number one. Okay, so... You're coming out of that dark night of the soul. 
All right, take good care. All right, soul story number two. It's all about you. It's all about the body. Um, we've got this stone that I'm getting. I thought it was turquoise. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I feel it's turquoise or moss. It's a type of moss, agate. Um, I'm getting a lot with you with the body. Um, also finance, money, things that have to do with the material plane. Some of you may be moving or wanting to move someplace. I get this greenery where the grass is greener, literally. It's, it's um, some of you, I see you gardening. So you're doing a lot with the physical realm is what I'm hearing, with the body, with the earth, maybe working with herbs or nutrition. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, my ideas spark, scatter, and expand into brilliant magnificence. So maybe what I'm picking up that's growing is you. There's something that you're growing. Owl, there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Yeah, some of you, it could be moving. There's something that you're growing in your life. There's something, I feel like some of you, it's figurative. It's it's literally, and some of you, it's literal. It has to do with some kind of gardening. Something that's growing in your life. You're also being asked to use your wisdom. Use the previous wisdom. Something that you went through before, you're going through again, or it's very similar. And what I'm hearing is, is that you have the wisdom. You have to trust your wisdom, your inner knowing. Some of you, there is something that you've cut off or left behind or moved on from, and that's leaving the space for new growth. So you really have to listen to yourself. You're planting seeds. Oh, that's why I'm hearing that. Because I feel the gardening that I'm seeing, it, it's you planting seeds. Planting seeds in your life. Um, yeah, greenery. I mean, look at the... One more, one more, one more here. I've got the message for one more. Let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, death. See... A lot of transition and change here. Let's see what's on the bottom now. High Priestess. So really being in nature, um, there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition, but I also hear in nature. If you're not where a lot of nature is, animal beings, birds, be, just be aware of the local nature around you, okay? Let's see what you're coming out of. Okay, Prince of Cups. Again, a lot to do with healing, deep healing work here. Change, there we go, there's change. So you're having to balance the old and the new. This is a lot about change or change of direction or you're navigating this change. I do feel, soul story number two, there's something you did or a way you did a previous growth or transition that could be very valid and helpful for you now. Ooh, abundance. Look at that. So whatever you're growing, whatever you're focused on, soul story number two, it's paying off. And I feel there's going to be help. You've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Um... You're attracting people that are helping you or you're attracting the job that's right for you, the people. There is support. You're changing from one level to another, one way of being to another. For some of you, you're at a crossroads and th that's causing the change. Look at that success. Whatever it is you're drawing in, soul story number two, success and it's help. If it's monetary, it might seem like money in, money out, but it does show that this is money's earned. So some of you could be getting a raise or you're doing something that brings more money and that brings more abundance. How this affects you, nine of pentacles, uh, nine of swords. Okay, so anxiety. So you're being, the, the message from spirit is you are successful and there is more success coming to you. You'll be able to see the success more monetary. What you need to do on the earth plane 
is do what you can to alleviate any anxiety about making changes. So some of you may have anxiety or, or get kind of nervous or worry thoughts when it comes to making changes or when you see your life changing. Some of you are saying, well, how could it get better? It's probably gonna get worse. It's gonna go back to how it was or it can't get any better. But spirit is saying that it, it is gonna get better and you do have help. There is support. You have to open up to the help. So this is just a little bit of a message here, a little bit of a warning not to overtax yourself with anxiety, but that you're actually in, a, in doing better than what you thought or thought you would, or you have to look and see how far you've come and how much better you are doing because it does show abundance coming in and it shows success. And this could be success in relationship matters and or financial matters. Something new is growing in your life. Okay, let's look at the chakras. There's something that's about to pay off or it's been paying off. With the Six of Pentacles, you might have wanted the payoff to be a bit bigger. But again, abundance you're going to see is coming also from emotional support here with that Prince of Cups. Determination, yeah, look at that swimming upstream. So I, I'm feeling like the overall energies are saying don't give up, okay? Don't give up on what you're focused on. This is not the time to, you're so close or you're already having success, but it may not be the huge success, the big success that you wanted. Okay, some of you, this is in relationship, you're opening to relation, heart chakra, unfurling back to love. Well, to me, that's the Prince of Cups, and that's also the abundance. So doing more of what you love. Some of you are taking a chance on something, and you're wondering, oh, my God, is it going to pay off? Am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to be able to support myself? Is this going to work? And I would say yes. Some of you, whether this is a new relationship or a relationship taking a new, going to a new level, or you're going to be... If you're single, you're going to be attracting someone that is operating quite high, highly. They're operating at abundance. Okay, They're coming in very self-sufficient with their emotions. They're not takers. They're able to give emotionally. Um, this is saying do what, do what activates your heart chakra. And this is love, perhaps, of a person or and or a situation or loving more of your life or what you're doing. Okay. So whatever it is is growing in your life. Just remember that there's a death and rebirth. So you might have felt like, oh, my gosh, there's been so much loss or it's over or something's over. Or you're feeling that you're having to rebuild. You're building back up. So story number two. But you're building back up successfully. I think for some of you, it's taking a little bit longer than what you thought or you thought you might be further off. But the Six of Pentacles always says that something, whoa, something is going to, um, okay, we're going to take two because two of them came out together. Look at all that green. Taurus, I have. Yeah, focus on what you have. Focus on your abilities, your resources. And Venus, love. Wow. Heart chakra. So some of you, this is definitely about a relationship coming in or someone new. Could be a relationship that you're in that you're starting to really appreciate and feel good about. And or it's going to a new level. For some of you, this is attracting someone else. And it's going to be th this person you attract in by following your own inner knowing. By your own determination in your life. That person is just there out of the blue. So you've got with Taurus a 14.5. So there definitely are changes. There's definitely growth. When you look at a 5... It has to do with new influences coming in. And then you've got four. These new influences are bringing stability. I keep hearing do more of what you love. If you're asking a question, should I go towards this direction or should I go towards that direction? It's saying to follow your heart. Go towards that which you love. That's your soul insights mantra, soul story number two. Go towards that which you love. Go towards who you love. Go towards that which you love. 
Wow, through determination and love, all things are possible. So you're having, many of you could be having a heart opening. There could be some issues around the heart or working through the heart or having a heart opening, um, opening more to abundance, receiving more, definitely finances are picking up. Now, mind you, again, if it's not exactly how you want it or in the rate that you want it, Six of Pentacles is a is a prediction. It portends future success, okay? It's saying you're successful now as things are. It's getting better and better and better, but it's also an indicator of future success. All righty, soul story number two. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next reading. Or... You can stay and listen to soul story number three. Uh, definitely grounding, definitely body, definitely healing. I'm getting a, a good group of you very active. This is shale. And this is actually a very close to a really special place, um, Red Rock, uh, that I spent quite a bit of time um, there. Mm, wow, I wish I could just send this to you. So some of you could be an indigenous or connecting to native traditions, like by, by connected to a native tribe is what I'm hearing, or you're spending more time or studying native traditions or studying ritual is what I'm hearing. Deep, deep healing and healing of the body, a body-mind connection is what I'm hearing. Um, I grow stronger every time I get back up. Okay, so there's kind of a theme through here. So again, this, this is symbolizing deep healing, healing from Mother Earth, but stability. It, it's, it's stability of the Earth. It's things getting better. It's the body getting better. And your fortune card is coffin, natural endings abound. Take care with your health. Wow, that's what I said, body. So some of you may be going through a health challenge or health crises or health awareness and you're just getting healthier. Some of you may be going to the doctor or your nurse practitioner or healthcare practitioner or some of you just may be on a different regime with your body where you're getting stronger and stronger, better and better. Maybe you're eating better for you. Maybe you're finding something new about your body taking care of your body. But this does symbolize um, by the flower here that things are getting better, okay? So again, growth, renewal, there's something ending and a passage that's ending. For many of you, it could be that there were health challenges, but now that's over, that's ending. You're finding a solution. You're getting, you're feeling better and better. So you're getting through it. You're growing through the changes. You're growing through the lessons. You know more about yourself at this time. You know more about what works for you. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what's coming up for soul story number three. We'll do two more shuffles. Yeah, I definitely get some of you may need to spend out some time more outdoors or doing something more physical. There's definitely, definitely for some of you, I'm hearing to pick this, changes within the body. Wow, work. So working on yourself. Some of you, I feel you're going back to work or back to the office. You're going back to some place where there is a routine. Some of you, it could be a gym or you're opening a gym or you opening a yoga studio, or you're going back to the gym, going back to the yoga studio. There's something about working on it, working on the physical body, working with your body. Let's see what else. Oh, Prince of Wands, things, energy picking up. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and Princess of Discs. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but some kind of birth, some kind of new direction. Um, 
again, body, it, maybe it's your stamina also could be picking up. Let's see the message from spirit. Oh, queen of cups. Oh, integrate the emotional aspect of you with this queen of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. But get into the feeling of whatever it is. Some of you, there's something you're doing. I don't know if it's dancing. There's some kind of movement. Some of you, it's art. Some of you, it's you're having to make some intuitive decisions in your work. Some of you could be designers is what I'm hearing. Okay, this could be a couple. This could be... But this is the message from spirit. So Queen of it's about your intuition, trusting your intuition and your body through how you feel or what you feel. If you're trying to make an intuitive decision, soul story number three or any kind of decision, I feel like you can only go so far with thinking. You have to be practical, but you have to bring your intuition in. Courage, valor. So having the courage to move forward on your dreams, your goals, your desires, stamina, um, let's see here. Yeah, that Mars and Leo, this could have something to do also with a project that you're really excited or inspired about something and it's, it's growing, it's, it's getting more tangible. If you're asking if a business venture is going to work, it would say yes. Um, it would say perhaps there's more about it in these fall months. There's more known. But it does show that it, something is birthing to a new level. Okay. For some of you, you're going in a new direction is what I'm hearing. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Does it get any more accurate? Rebirth. Rebirth. Natural endings abound. Take care of your health. So there's some of you going in a whole new direction. And remember this card you got. I grow stronger every time I get back up. So you might have been hit with some loss. But this is about a, a rebirth. And Princess of Disc is about birth. Okay. Could be offers too, could be offers in business. Some of you, I actually really feel like you just started putting your resumes or CVs out there or you took a hit financially and you're coming back or you're in a whole new field. Some of you I feel are changing fields, companies, companies, but also fields. So you're in a cycle of rebirth. Trust the rebirth. The only way to do it is, is by your gut knowing, your intuition, by not rushing. You're already you're already determined and, and moving forward, soul story number three. So the thing is to not burn out, is what I'm hearing with some of you, for, to not burn out. You have to nurture, take care of yourself. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water also. Let's see from Beyond Lemuria card say balanced forces. Well, the balance for you is the water element, is the intuition and feeling nature of you, the emotions, making sure your emotional body is taken care of. For some of you, it's getting plenty of rest. Some of you are coming out of a project or, or drawing in a new project. So it's not all go, 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 go. Otherwise, you'll burn out. It's not all that Prince of Wands. It's, it's also... Connecting into the emotional side of you. For some of you, this is a new path that I feel is very emotionally rewarding for you, okay? But it's come out of a lot of work. It's come out of gradual prog progress. But things are starting to pick up, okay? So some of you may be saying, oh my God, I didn't know that this change was going to happen this quickly. Or I didn't know I was going to get that job you know, or have to tell the old job that I'm leaving. So there's a quite a bit of balancing here, but you'll be able to do it again by balancing the 
masculine and feminine aspects of you, the electrical, magnetic, the part of you that wants to just charge or go forward or get it done and create it, and the part of you that wants to rest, to nurture, to go within. Make sure you're using your intuition or your gut knowing in your decisions. Okay. So your soul insights mantra for the week is for the most abundance and fulfillment, I move forward in a balanced way. Okay, I move forward in a balanced way. So for you, the most abundance, the most fulfillment is going to come from balance, not from overdoing, not from overstretching. Okay, many of you may have um, fire prominently in your chart. You know, you may have planets in fire signs. You may be a fire sign or your moon. Um, Mars might be in fire. Rising um, could be fire and air. I mean, I'm getting a lot here with fire, water, and um, earth. So you just, this is just a message from spirit. You know, you're, the message from spirit is really to focus on the nurturing aspect of you. You might think you're slowing down, but you're not. You're coming from a balanced, balanced forces. All right, Radiant Soul Lights, thanks for being a part of my path. Um, I still look forward to connecting you, with you when we do. And I really want to thank those of you that are leaving comments. I know life can get busy, so I appreciate you letting me know how the readings unfold for you and um, how you're doing on your path. I so appreciate that. And uh, yes, if you would like to connect with me this weekend, Saturday, um, May 22nd, um, to do this Psychic Development Opening to Channel workshop, you can find out more information by going to soulplayground.life and going to the classes and courses um, section. And that'll give you the information. All right, until next time, keep shining bright.